I want the freedoms and the fundamentals of freedom. Let me make my own decisions. We pay taxes. Give me my freedom. I'll vote for you. And people like me are coming out of the woodworks. I'm also originally from a country that didn't have freedom. And I came here, and the country I'm living in now is beyond recognition. And if I were to make the choice again, it would be no. There would be no reason to come to Canada. Hey guys, what's up? Tap the Peters here for Rebel News. On Thursday, July 21st, I attended a Leslin Lewis leadership event in Toronto, Ontario. Dr. Lewis is running for the Conservative leadership of Canada. I got the chance to ask her questions and also got to see what her supporters had to say about her and her opponents. Check it out. I've spoken even in churches where people are not speaking to each other because of their vaccination status. Parents not talking to children. And all of this has been fueled because we had a prime minister who decided that he was going to use COVID as a political opportunity to divide. Leslin's always been someone I really admire. And uh, I'd like to, instead of just being on the internet, it's nice to have her in person. Um, so I'm really, just really excited to um, be here as a woman and a young mother and be able to see a candidate running that uh, represents the views that I hold, the values that I hold. I've talked to a lot of women my age, you know, whether they're working moms, stay-at-home moms, um, that really don't feel like they have a voice in and aren't really represented in our um, current uh, government and in the discourse in media and in politics. Um, and they're really concerned about issues like religious freedom, parental freedom. Um, these are really, really important to us. So it's really exciting to see a candidate, a woman, a mother who's representing those values. I'm also tired of the division and the demonization of people of faith. I believe that we have a charter of rights where we have freedom of religion, freedom of expression, freedom of conscience. And we as Canadians need to uphold that and hold our government to that. When we see governments trying to divide people on things such as religion or belief, we need to push back. I wanted to hear Leslin's, um, Leslin's conversation as well as the audience's questions as to how she's going to address some of the platforms that the Liberal get to stand on for the next three years. And I want to hear how the next official opposition is going to address some of the policies that the Liberals are putting in place. That I don't, I personally don't feel that they completely benefit Canadians' freedoms. And I want to use that language very freedom, because that's a big conversation, that's a big question. Neither Conservative nor Liberal, definitely not NDP. I'm a libertarian. And whoever is for liberty and the freedoms, that's where I would place my vote. I think that's where anybody in Canada that's grown up in Canada would place their vote. I want the freedoms and the fundamentals of freedom. Let me make my own decisions. We pay taxes. Give me my freedom. I'll vote for you. That's kind of where I lay with the entire political realm right now. Uh, what brings me uh, here is that I definitely feel that there is a need for alternative what we have. Desperately, absolutely desperately. And people like me are coming out of the woodworks. I'm also originally from a country that didn't have freedom. And I came here, and the country I'm living in now is beyond recognition. And if I were to make the choice again, it would be no. There would be no reason to come to Canada. My original country now is more democratic than Canada is now. So, And of course, I'm curious. I wanted to know what, what uh, Ms. Uh, Lewis has to offer. I wanted to know whether she's genuine and not some kind of automatic answering machine. And, and I saw to my satisfaction, she's genuine. She has thought things through. So as I said, we got our money's worth and very pleased to see. And even if she's not number one, she could be a minister. She, you know, there'll be a lot of very smart people that we need, not just one, but as many as we can, as we can gather. So I'm a huge supporter of hers and I wouldn't have it any other way. I like her, st I like the way she fights, I like the way she stands up to Trudeau, and it's a pleasure to be here. Hi, Dr. Lewis, my name is Tabitha Peters, I am from Rebel News.
Contrarily, if he is in prison for having a selfie with an opponent of Trudeau, another trucker, protester, has been in prison ever since February. Even if we disagree with them, aren't you concerned about civil liberties in Canada? Isn't this authoritarian? What are your comments on this? Absolutely, I'm concerned about civil liberties. I'm a lawyer, so these things are very important to me. And the truth of the matter is, complete confession, I have not see Tamara's bail papers. I don't know what her terms of the bail were, and I haven't read the case to see what the alleged breach is. Um, what I do say is, I see her as someone who's a freedom fighter. Um, I um, think it's very important that the right to protest is unfettered and unencumbered, and, and we need to know that the fact that you have to ask that question shows a distrust that we have in our government and our democracy. Because a question like that should be asked in a dictatorship society. It should, it should, people should wonder whether or not she's getting a fair trial. But when we saw that in her first case, the person who presided over her case was a former liberal candidate, and that judge did not recluse himself of course people are going to have this trust in the system. So I do believe that the next leader will have to restore faith in our democracy, yeah. and I intend to do that. Yeah. Officially, Tamara Leach is a political prisoner. There's no difference between China, North Korea, there's no difference between any kind of Mideast country that has a dictatorship. This is not based on freedom. It's political prisoner. Keep your, keep those that are opposed to your dictates and mandates. Keep them locked up, so that they won't give the other side of it. That's a travesty. This is a free country, and uh, she's a tax-paying citizen. I would suggest, and to have your tax dollars hard at work trying to arrest you for freedom of speech is a far fetch to what Canada used to be. And Klaus Schwab, who is the chairman of the World Economic Forum, the WEF has said that he has, these are his words, I would have used the word infiltrated, but that's not what he said. He said that he has penetrated Canada's cabinet. He may be lying. I don't know if he's lying. But what I can tell you is that it shows an utter disrespect for our democracy. An utter disrespect for our what separates her from the other candidates that are running? Again, she's not an insider. Um, many of the other candidates, uh, Jean Charest, I mean, he's a, he's, a, <laughs> he's a career political hack and in no way a conservative. I think he's there to, uh, to deflect uh, from what the real issues are. And um, because of Dr. Lewis's faith, I think that's what separates her from everybody. She truly believes and lives by the convictions uh, that she has. And that's very refreshing because I have yet to see a politician in Canada do that. I think being a lawyer helps. Um, and I also like um, just her policies, like everything that sh she's hit all the, like the pro-life, the, um, um, the WEF, she speaks it. Like she just doesn't, she doesn't, she doesn't talk around it and she gets right to the, the point. Um, she's taken a very principled stance on medical freedom and was even willing to um, give up you know, personal gain, personal political gain in order to uh, respect medical freedom um, in the legislature. Um, so to me, that's real leadership. What we need is politicians that are not only gonna say the right thing, but also do the right thing, even if it means um, you know, they're not their own political gain might be put at, put at uh, risk. I believe that as a sovereign nation that has gone through such trauma and turmoil that we've experienced the last two years, we need to do an assessment of what we did right and what we did wrong. Yeah. We need a national inquiry yeah. to call it, and I will be that for Dr. Lewis, she, she comes in and she approaches the, the topics from an area that is choice bound and not mandated. She comes from an area where you as an individual person, you have the right to make your choice and your belief system based on the pertinent issues that she comes up with and that are plaguing really Canada today. 
So I really think that she's for the Canadian citizen to make their choice, yes, no, to issues. She's almost like a personal referendum on a lot of issues, really. Being right next to the Toronto Pearson Airport, I had to ask Dr. Lewis what she would do to reduce the chaos that is happening in major airports right now. Well, I would get rid of the Arrive Canada app and I would make sure that um, we get rid of our agreement with the World Economic Forum for the Known Traveler Digital ID program. And I would make sure that we go back to the way that we were doing things and put in mechanisms to keep people safe. Yes, and for the entire Ezra and the, and the entire team at Rebel News, y'all are freedom fighters. You're not just news reporters, you're freedom fighters. And I say more power to you. We stand with you and behind you. God bless the entire crew, Ezra, and the entire freedom fighting team. Thanks for watching, guys. To stay updated with our conservative leadership reports, please check out leadershipreports.ca.